mencionaron que los mangas pop de la actualidad tienen mucha reminiscencia de lo que eran los 80. Y los 80, digamos, eran un sonido muy original y futurista, parecido a nada escuchado antes. ¿Por qué creen que hoy el pop suena de esa forma? Y si está muy, digamos, obsesionado con su pasado y si sigue siendo futurista el pop, como género. Totally different, that it used to be more like a future music. Mm -hmm. I mean, why you, if you think that the, the pop music now is a policy? Las bandas actuales parecen mucho las de los 80, como que no hay, digamos, una renovación. That the uh, bands from now it's, uh, are more uh, similar than the 80 sound. Why, why, why you think that? Podría ser futurista el pop todavía. If you think that it, it has more future than the pop. The pop can, can be like a renovation. <coughs> I, I believe that the music from the 80s was a really great decade of pop songs. And this is one reason why it is um, used until today when, you, when, they, when they do cover versions. They, most of the time it took songs of the 80s because the songs were great, they were unbelievable good. It was a really, really great decade of, of songwriting. And, um, you know, today you also have some, some, some good songs, but it, it's really funny that you still, when you do a cover version of an 80s song, you're going to have a top 10 hit. <laughs> so this is, this is unbelievable. Yeah. Ahora él dice que la música de los 80 fue muy muy buena eh, y que ahora lo que ocurre es que hay, hay una banda que hace un cover y lo primero que elige es hacer un cover de un tema de los 80 y que es increíble que esa banda por ahí entra en los charts con un cover de un tema que se hizo 30 años atrás porque no, no, no tiene comparación a mi entender, no me gusta la palabra de él, que no tiene comparación con la música que se hizo en los 80 con la cover. You know, it, it might, might sound, I don't want to be the wise guy, but the, sometimes it's, in the, in the 80s, it was not, not as easy to get a studio recording, you know, all these things. That means you have to be more creative before than today. Everybody got a computer and can do something in between a few hours. And I don't judge. I don't uh, judge. 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 judge that. The only the big difference is you have to be more prepared in the old days to get in a recording studio because it costs quite a lot of money. So you really you get more into depth and detail before you even record. That means it might be one reason why a lot of good songs were written before even recorded at that time. Today, it's no problem. You, everybody can record at home. So we hear a lot of, in my opinion, not finished tracks, not finished compositions, not, not real interesting compositions, because it's so easy to do. You know? Not everything, don't misunderstand. There is a lot of great music and, and mix mixed between all the different styles and I really love a lot of new re records but this is mainly one reason why the, the 80s might be a very creative decade because it was easier than in the 70s but, uh, but you had still had uh, <coughs> studio work with other people and, and yeah it was Everything was fitting maybe in, in that decade, I don't know. Me dice que tal vez una de las razones por cual la música de la década de los 80 o se no quiere pegar, obviamente de soberbia, pero dice que por ahí una de las razones fue que era más difícil hacer música en los 80 que ahora. Ahora cualquiera eh, puede hacer un estudio y grabar una canción en la casa. En esa época, si bien era por ahí más fácil que en los 70, era más difícil que ahora. Entonces, es como que ahora eh, él entiende como que la en general, obviamente, las acciones, las composiciones no están terminadas. Es como que hay algo que ahí falta, que en esa época nos faltaba. ¿no?